so Phil, I'm logged in here to your IDX add-ons account. I'm going to show you how fast these one-click sites are. I'm going to run my timer. I'm going to have to pause it for a minute when I do the payment option here. But let me show you what, it, what this looks like. But you'll be able to see real time what, what things are looking like here. So let's start this. Okay. And uh, so we're going to come down here to websites and the Pure IDX Astra. Oh, before I do that, let's see here. I wanted to. Uh, to go over here so here's that IDX it's that good feeling is what we're going to use and so if I go to that good feeling dot pure IDX you can see there's there's nothing there that, that doesn't exist but it will here in a minute so let me pause this while I do the payment option okay so I just did the payment option took me a couple seconds um, we get to this let's set up a site now so I'm gonna hit start now Goodwood Realty, and I'm going to just change that to be a capital W. Maybe we can change it at any time. All these settings can be changed. What do we want on the website? We'll take the whole enchilada, so we're taking everything here. Baton Rouge, I'm not sure what the secondary cities are, so we'll, we'll do that. And the site's being activated now. You can see this was at, looked like about 35 seconds when it started. So all of this, I have some notes here. Um, we're building all this data out using ChatGPT, and you and I discussed that earlier. So it's going to build community pages. It's going to bring in a property home valuation using the Plunk property valuation. Looks like you know that's this video has been running for a couple minutes now. We're almost two minutes into this thing. Um, these are fully customizable. So if there's something we can set here at the beginning, here at this beginning where I asked for those two questions, if you're using Go High Level, there's going to be an option that says, are you using Go High Level? If you push yes, then we'll ask you for your Go High Level API key, and then it'll show a drop down of the forms. It's been running for two minutes. It'll show a drop down of the forms, and you'll be able to pick which form you want to embed in the website. And we're hoping to also build a chat integration for that. So we're going to see how that works. But these are going to be, these are fully cut, uh, integratable with high level. So uh, a lot of folks have asked about that. Okay, so let's see, here we go. It's enabling the SSL certificate. This thing's basically done. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, so let's say that's it roughly three minutes and five seconds when I stopped it. This is in two and a half minutes. Okay, now open in a new tab. Look at that. There's your website. So say I would come over here and uh, I want to do a search. Looks like there's an issue with the SSL certificate there, so we may have to look at that. Here's the Baton Rouge, the Gonzales, and the Plancamine uh, information there. Looks like the we probably don't have the SSL certificate set up on your IDX yet, so we probably need to check that. That's I think that's why some of those things didn't didn't activate. But let's look at these community pages. There's the Baton Rouge uh, community page that it just built. You can see this is on IDX Broker. There's some information. This isn't really styled yet, so let's come back over here. Um, let's hit Edit Website, and I'm going to set the dynamic wrapper. I think that's all I really need to do, but I'm going to clear the, the cache too. So let's now reload it. Okay, Now it's bringing the, the map and everything uh, from the website. So we're going to change the layout of your properties here and select a different template for you too so it looks more beautiful. But uh, yeah, it's all it's set up. The IDX is activated. Everything's set up um, and ready to go. Um, let's see, I think I was going to show you one other thing. So we have those three community pages. 
that are working. You can see this is not secure. Okay, that's that. Look at that. We've got the home ticker right there. Your client can just put in their uh, phone number there and you're going to get a home valuation. They're going to send you some information right there. People can start looking at stuff. This is all built up for your site right out of the box. Hey, Phil, so one of the things that I kind of forgot to do here is uh, let's go back to the dashboard and uh, we want to set up a, a domain to this. You can see right now it's at thatgoodfeeling.pureidx.com. But let me just get this. Look, all I need to do is get this IP address. And we're going to go to New Harmony Ranch and update these settings. This is going to disappear and this expires in a few days. So let's... Uh, Let's update that. It looks like that's updated. We'll see if that's out on the domain dossier. So let's put new harmony ranch.com. Okay, it looks like it's still pointed to the old settings here. That those changes that I made haven't updated, but that's all I need to do right there. And then I'll just come in here. See if I can slide this. I've got a button right here. Let's see if I can slide. There we go. Slide it out of the way. So I'm going to put in new harm money ranch.com and add that domain. So that's active. And if I want to make that the primary domain here, uh, I can. And in fact, I can go back and erase that, uh, you know, that kind of that bogus one that we were talking about. And let's just see if maybe any of this data is updated yet. It might be cached on my server. But just for fun, I'm going to hit this and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to hit advanced, look at that, and it actually has the SSL certificate now running on it, but that's, that's how quick that is to, to set up the domain.